Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, question 11. Figure 4 shows a sketch of the graph with equation y equals modulus 2x minus 3k, where k is a positive constant. For part a, we need to sketch the graph with equation y equals f of x, where f of x equals k minus modulus 2x minus 3k, and we need to state the coordinates of the maximum point and the coordinates of any points where the graph cuts the coordinate axes. Let's start by thinking about the graph of y equals minus the modulus 2x minus 3k, so the second part of our f of x. This is just the negative version of the graph we've already been given, so it's going to reflect it in the x-axis and it's going to look like this. Okay, Its maximum is at the same point as the minimum of the original graph. f of x begins with a k, so that's just adding k to what we've already got. Well, if we add k, it's going to move k places up the y-axis, so it's going to end up looking like this for maximum where y equals k. At y equals k, the 2x minus 3k part is going to equal 0. Hence, x is going to equal 3k over 2. So there's our maximum. We found that. We now need to find the coordinates of the points where it's going to cut the coordinate axis. When it crosses the x-axis, y is going to equal 0. When that happens, 2x minus 3k modulus has to equal k. Now, there are two occasions where this happens. The first one is for our positive 2x minus 3k. So we set 2x minus 3k equal to k, 2x is equal to 4k, hence x is equal to 2k. But we've also got the negative part of the modulus. So if we had negative 2x minus 3k, the modulus would remain the positive that we've already got. So we're going to set that negative part equal to k as well. So minus brackets 2x minus 3k is equal to k. So 2x minus 3k is equal to minus k. 2x is equal to 2k, x is equal to k. So these are the two points where it's going to cross the x-axis, but we can see on our little sketch it's also going to cross the y-axis at x equals 0. So at x equals 0, y is going to equal k minus modulus of 0 minus 3k. So that's the modulus of minus 3k, well that just becomes 3k. So we get k minus 3k, which is equal to minus 2k. So putting this all onto our graph, here's the shape of the graph as before in our last little diagram. We've got a maximum at 3k over 2k, so crossing the x-axis at k and 2k and crossing the y-axis at minus 2k. For part b, we need to find in terms of k the set of values of x for which k minus modulus 2x minus 3k is larger than x minus k. And we need to give our answer in set notation. As before, because we're dealing with modulus here, there are going to be two ways to get this answer. We're going to have an answer when the 2x minus 3k part is positive, and we're going to have an answer where the 2x minus 3k part is negative. So let's start with the positive bit. We're just going to do k minus, we're going to put 2x minus 3k in brackets now, and this is larger than x minus k. Expanding this out, we get k minus 2x plus 3k is larger than x minus k. Then adding 2x to both sides and adding k to both sides, we get that 5k is larger than 3x, hence x is smaller than 5k over 3. The other answer comes when the 2x minus 3k is negative, and the modulus part of that makes it positive, which is enough the same result as if we multiplied by the negative number. So to find this, we're going to do k minus the negative of the bracket 2x minus 3k. And again, this is going to be larger than x minus k. Expanding this, we get k plus 2x minus 3k is larger than x minus k. And if we subtract x from both sides and we add the 3k and subtract the k from the left, we get that x is larger than k. So, so far, we've got x must lie between k and 5k over 3. However, our answer has to be in set notation. So that's going to look like this. We've got our set brackets, the curly brackets there. We've got x colon, so it's that x such that x is smaller than 5k over 3. So that was part of our inequality. 
then got the intersection of this and a group of x such that x is larger than k, which is the other part of our inequality. Note it's really important that we put the intersect, the n-shaped one here, not the union, because the union is going to cover everything. We just want the intersect where x is both larger than k and smaller than 5k over 3. For part c, we need to find in terms of k the coordinates of the minimum point of the graph with equation y equals 3 minus 5 lots of f half x. To do this, we're going to use our result from part a, where we found the maximum point of f of x, and that maximum was 3k over 2k. Now let's think about what happens if we've got a half inside that function. So it's going to stretch along the x-axis by the inverse of that half. So our x-coordinates are going to double, but it doesn't affect the height of the y. So the y-coordinate of our maximum is going to stay in the same point. So the max of f half x is going to be twice the x-coordinate, so 3k, and the y is still going to be k. Now the minimum of our y is going to be 3 minus 5 lots of the maximum of f. So the y coordinate is going to be 3 minus 5 times a half x, which is 3 minus 5k, which we've just worked out before. The x that's going to go with this is going to be the same x that gives us this max of f of a half and gives us the minimum of a y. So that's 3k. So our coordinate of the minimum point is 3k, 3 minus 5k. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.